We're Sarah and Alex James, and that's our baby vans. We take empty cargo vans and transform them into beautiful tiny home on wheels. We just wrapped up a conversion for our clients, Michelle and David, in a 159 extended Ram ProMaster. Welcome to our latest van build. This is a 2019 159 extended ProMaster that we just built for clients, Michelle and David. We got vans here for the van tour. Are you excited? Kicking those legs, woo! All right, so come on in. So we designed this van for Michelle and David to live in it full time. So this truly is a tiny house on wheels. One of the first things you will notice right when you walk in is this gorgeous faucet and stainless sink. We love installing this stainless sink because it's nice and deep, not one of those little tiny RV sinks. We also have an outlet and their dimmer switch for the 12 volt LED puck lights that run along the ceiling. One of the other things before we jump into the full kitchen tour is they have a nice little closet here, a his and hers closet. Because they're gonna be living in this full time, they did want a place where they could actually hang clothing. So we gave a high and a low hanging storage for both of them so they can have their his and hers closets. I'm guessing she's gonna get the one on the top. Right next to the closet, we have their wet bath, which has a nature's head composting toilet and a shower. And this nice, you guys have seen this before if you've watched any of our van tours, the Nautilus self-cleaning retractable shower door. So that's really nice to contain all the water in the bathroom. And then after you shower, we always recommend wiping down the walls and the shower pan so you don't have water just sitting in there. Next up is the kitchen. I absolutely love this kitchen. This is the first time we've installed this Dometic three burner stove and oven. It has three burners and an oven. It's run off of propane. Really excited for them to use it and test it out and see how they like it. We have the isotherm 65 liter fridge and then they have a couple of drawers for storage as well as a little bit of storage underneath the sink. Both the kitchen and the bathroom both have the same subway tile with the gray grout. We love putting tile in here. We did the foam backer board if you watched any of our build series so we weren't worried about adding the weight and this is the 3500 version of the ProMax so it can handle the weight that we're putting into it. We've got lots of upper storage on both sides and we have a dresser where they can store even more clothing because they have their closet but that's just for their hanging clothes and then they have three drawers. There might be a fight on who gets the third drawer but I'm guessing again she's probably gonna win that fight. This layout is really similar to our beach house model but we modified it just a little bit for our clients in order to fit their needs. So we did a small garage area in between the two benches from the back side that they can slide in their skateboards as well as their electric scooter that folds down. It's only about seven inches tall but it's perfect for that stuff that they wanted to store in there. And so this is kind of the best of both worlds when it comes to still having the convertible table bed area, but a little bit of storage underneath between the two benches. So we have our standard table here on the Lagoon swivel mount, which is really nice because you can spin it all around and it's very functional. It doesn't have the standard pole that goes into the ground. We like this because it gives you all that leg room underneath. To make the bed, you pull the table off, really easy to do. It sits on the little lip. We have another little piece that comes together to form the almost, I think this is close, it's a little bit bigger than a queen, but not quite a king size. I'm not sure if they're gonna be sleeping front to back or side to side. They're both pretty average height, so I think they could actually sleep side to side in this van because it is a ProMaster and it's a few inches wider than a Sprinter van. So like Sarah said, they did want room in the back for extra storage for longboards, skateboards, and electric scooter that folds up. So we designed this little garage that gives them all of that room to put all of those longer objects. You could even fit like a shorty uh, surfboard in here if you wanted to, so pretty cool. From the back, we did this nice my wood wall accent. We like to do this on the back of the vans. Just gives you something really pretty when you're shooting inside. 
Over on this side, this is their electrical compartment. This is our standard 300 amp hour Battleborn system. So they have 300 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries from Battleborn. They also have a 3000 watt Victron inverter charger. And on top of the roof, they have 300 watts of Renogy solar that is mounted onto their Illumines roof rack. So there's no holes drilled in the roof for mounting their solar system. The only holes that are in the roof are to pass their WeBoost wire and both of their solar uh, wires to link to their solar controller, which is a Renogy Rover 40 amp solar controller. So over on this side, we do have this little access where they can pull out their charging cable so they can plug into shore power and charge their battery system as well as charging off the solar. Over on this side, we have 33 gallons of fresh water that feeds both their shower as well as their sink. They do have a two and a half gallon water heater. It is a 110 hot water heater that runs off of the 3000 watt inverter. So there's a switch in their electrical compartment that they can switch to turn on their inverter and then another switch over here on the face of this um, bench that they can flip on to turn on their hot water heater. So when they turn on their inverter, their hot water heater does not always turn on, it's on a separate switch. And over on this side, we do have this little access. That they can pull out their hose to connect to um, a faucet or to a spigot and fill up their freshwater tank. And you can see a little bit of the hot water heater right there. So back here, this is their electrical panel that we've built into one of their cabinets. They have their BMV, their remote for their 3000 watt inverter, as well as the remote for their heater. They have a Wabasto gasoline heater in this, which is actually mounted in the tow kick of this dresser. And then also their water tank sensor, so they know how much fresh water they have left in their 33 gallon tank. Their WeBoost remote and antenna is also in here. Um, yeah, underneath that, we have a switch for a separate light, which is right over the bed in the table area. I always like to rig one light independent so that when you want to turn out a light or turn on a light in the middle of the night, you don't have to go all the way to the front. And these are all on dimmers, like Sarah said. And over here, they have 12 volt charging. So they have one standard 12 volt socket plug, and then they have two USB outlets. So they can charge their laptops, or excuse me, not their laptops, so they can charge their cell phones or small appliances or devices without having to turn on the inverter, which is one really cool function of this little switch panel over here. For the switches, one switch turns on their water pump, and then they have two switches for their gray water tank system, which is underneath the van. So they have a seven gallon gray water tank for their shower and a seven gallon gray water tank for their kitchen sink. So those feed directly into those tanks. And then when they are somewhere that they can dump, they can go ahead and flip these switches. It activates the actuator on the ball valve and they can dump and then shut the switches and close them back up. That way you can empty your tanks without ever having to leave the van. Pretty convenient. Thank you so much for watching our latest van tour. Hope you guys really enjoyed this build and our very first ProMaster. If you're interested in the layout for this ProMaster, there's a link down below for a van layout guide, which includes not only the layout for this ProMaster, as well as the layout for all of the other builds we have completed, including the outdoorsman, the family van in 144s, in 170s and 170 extendeds. All that good stuff is in that program for those of you who are thinking about building your own van. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments down below and we will see you guys next time.